Hey guys, um, I believe this is video number eight. Uh, we're going to talk about timers today. Um, and just to make the videos a little bit shorter, since you guys already understand how to make tags, uh, I went ahead and made some tags. Uh, and you can see them right down here. Uh, T-O-N timer, T-O-F timer, and R-T-O timer. Each one of these timers are different. The TON is a timer on, the TOF is a timer off, and the RTO um, is basically like a timer on except that it is retentive. So uh, if we lose the uh, logic in the rung, it does not reset the accumulated value of the timer. It maintains it. Um, so if you think of like a filling process, if we lost uh, power or the logic in the rung uh, and we were filling up a can of paint, when we start it back up, we don't want it to continue. Uh, we want it to continue from where it left off, not restart the amount of time uh, of pumping the liquid into the container because then it would overflow. So... Um, we're going to do an example of a timer on. And like I said, again, I made this up already, the T-O-N. One thing that you want to remember with a T-O-N, I'm going to show you how to create one real quick. Um, we just create it right here. Timer. Now you got to remember this right here. This is very important. Uh, you have to define it as a timer and once you do that I'm just going to close it because I don't really need this tag once you define it as a timer uh, and not a dent you get all these extra bits with it uh, you get the uh, timer preset value the accumulated value the timer enabled bit the timer timing bit and a timer done bit uh, you get all of those to use along with this timer. So um, I did this. I made this up already. So I can go ahead and use them. And I made a little bit of a program right here. Uh, if you remember our start button. Uh, and here's our timer on. So first thing we need to do is pick what we want to use. And it knows it's a timer, so it takes me directly to the timers and I selected it as timer on. Now I need to set a preset value. All right, and these are in thousandths of a second, so 10 seconds, I need 10,000. So when my start button comes on, it's going to start my timer. But as soon as I release the start button, it's gonna go off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the timer itself to hold itself on. And I'm going to go down here to the timer on. And I am going to use uh, as long as the timer is enabled, uh, it's going to hold itself on. So it's not enabled till I press the start button. Once it's enabled, it will hold itself on. Now, um, I made a couple other little uh, tags. And I'm going to use information off of my timer here. Uh, I'm going to use my timer on. And... My timer timing. If my timer timing, uh, if my timer is timing, um, I am going to turn on a motor. Actually, I think I want to use the enable for this.
And down here, if my timer is timing, I'm going to turn on something. All right, so um, this little thing here, you can kind of think of maybe like a car wash. If we hit the start, uh, this timer starts running, right? Um, and if it's enabled, it's moving the car. It's pulling it through, right? And as long as it's timing, we have a sprayer going that's spraying on your car. Now, when this stops timing, our sprayer stops, but we don't want our car to stop in the middle of the car wash. So the enable will keep running the motor, which is pulling your car right on through, all right? So that's kind of just a, a quick little scenario of how maybe how you might be using this. Um, so just like uh, before, I need to uh, I need to do who active, select where I'm going to send it. I need to download it. All right, so um, we're only going to look at, again, this is the big program I've been building, uh, and it's really just uh, a bunch of examples. S some of it works together, some of it doesn't. Um, we're just going to uh, look at just this section for right now. Uh, we'll tie stuff in later on. All right, so... Um, I don't really need this latch or any of this stuff up here because I haven't really used it. Uh, but that'll still be going on because I ran this just off my start. When my start comes on, it's going to start my timer. My timer on enabled will hold itself on. And it will run all of this right here. So I'm just going to hit my start. You'll see that the timer is accumulating. My uh, timer enabled is turning on the motor. My sprayer just went off and my motor is continuing to run. Now, here's the issue. This timer enabled, it's, once it's enabled, it's still enabled. It's gonna keep running that. So, uh, what I'm gonna do here, I am going to, uh, Take it out of run mode, all right? I'm gonna go offline. So how can I get this thing to stop? Because this would have held itself on. Well, I'm gonna put a done bit. I'm gonna run it off of the timer. Oh. go and I'm gonna say as long as uh, where's it at there it is now this is just gonna keep resetting itself and restarting um, uh, but we need to lose logic in front of it. On a timer on, if we lose logic in front of it, it will reset. So again, this would come on. Uh, the timer done, is, uh, timer done is not done, so the timer would start. The timer enabled would be running through this. These two would be on. Uh, and once we get the done bit, once the accumulated value equals the preset value, we lose this which means uh, we lose this, so we lose this, we lose both of these, all right? Uh, and again, this is just an example. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. All right, there it is. 
We're going to go back to run mode. We are in run mode. I'm going to press start. You'll see that it's holding it on. This will right here. Once it reaches 10 seconds, we lost everything. Now, again, in, uh, in our first scenario, we continued to run the motor. We would have to do uh, some other type of logic in order to run this motor, uh, continue to run the motor. But that's basically how a timer on works. Uh, we'll cover um, an RTO. RTO works just like a uh, TON, except it is retentive. That's why it's called an RTO. It's retentive. If we lose logic in front of it, uh, it, re it holds its accumulated value. If we lose power, it holds its accumulated value. So you would use that in a situation where you would not want to lose your uh, information, the amount of information of the time that you've actually run the timer. So that is the end of the video. We will uh, f uh, do uh, counters, uh, TOF, a uh, few other little functions here in the next videos. So stay tuned.